Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, I did Gauntlet. Again, I got up to 500 KC. Then I got a whole bunch of Cooking XP. I got the Artie Elite Diary done. And then at the end of the last video, I started doing the Varak Har Diary and I finished all the tasks except for harvesting the U roots from the U tree. I'm gonna have to wait a few more hours for that, but we will get the diary done this video. Now I mentioned at the end of the last video that I'm gonna be going for a 99, and that 99, which I'm sure will be in the title and thumbnail, is gonna be thieving. Normally I would just thieve Artie Knight all the way to 99, but because we need more scepters, I'm gonna be doing Pyramid Plunder probably all the way because theoretically, I think we would need six in total. We've gotten one, so we would need five more because you would need one for the occult altar, one to keep in the stash unit, although I guess you don't have to keep it in the stash unit, and then one to have in your bank for teleporting around. I guess four in total would be fine, but six would be more of like a completionist thing. The one that I got already though, I used to build my occult altar, my POH, which it's been nice to have it, but at the same time, I've already had to drop that master clue stuff that requires the Pharaoh Scepter multiple times. So hopefully we'll get at least one on the way to 99 I'm sure. I'm actually not sure but I hope so. Hey here's a use for those 10k wines I made last video. I'll be using them as my food here because it doesn't matter if my attack level gets lowered. Unfortunately we don't have a Serp Helm so I'm gonna be using the Antidote Plus Pluses to cure poison. You could use the Prayer Book but that drains your prayer each time you get poisoned and you use it and I think I'd rather use Antidotes here than Prayer Pods. The way you get the Scepter is by searching either the Gold Chest or the Sarcophagus in Pyramid Plunder but I don't think the Sarcophagus is even worth it because it just takes so long to open. And the odds of getting the scepter from the chest is based on what room number you're in. So you can see the rates right here. I'm definitely not going to be searching the gold chest in the first two rooms, maybe not even the third room. I'll probably do the third room. I'll probably do the third room onwards for uh, searching the gold chests. I got a bunch of XP from doing Sepulchre because at the time I was just searching every single one of the hollowed coffins. And I ended up getting, as you can see, pretty far through the level. So we're starting off pretty deep into level 95. For these wines, I'm going to configure my left click and then set my left click to drop, save it, and then now I can just left click to drop the empty jugs. I'm only gonna be searching the urns in the last room because in the lower tier rooms, the urns give lower XP. And then also it's probably best to wait until you search all the urns before you open the grand gold chest because uh, you could spawn a scarab swarm and that'd be really annoying having that following you around the room the whole time while you're trying to search these. And it looks like from one PP run, I got about 14K thieving XP. There's 96 thieving already. I just noticed as long as I don't get any other levels, then 99 thieving will coincide with getting 2.1K total. That's gonna be so cool. Although odds are I might end up getting like a wood cutting or fishing level in between. Nah, probably not actually. Dude, someone else just, I think that was a freaking bot that got the scepter. I don't know if you noticed that freaking, oh my God. Gosh, where's my scepter at? I'm so unlucky. This freaking bot, dude, I hate you. Why is he walking back? I hate you, you stole my scepter. No, are you? Dude, the bot found another scepter, are you kidding me? I'm reporting him again, bro. I know it's a bot because it's a super low level and it has almost no stats except for like 80 something thieving. And we have level 97 thieving. This one's gonna be rough because level 97 to 98 is the most amount of XP between levels that doesn't get you a 99, but I will, I will power through it. Although it's probably gonna take me a little bit longer than it should to get the next couple levels because the weekend's coming up. We're going to Las Vegas baby then we got the fourth of july i know the videos are a bit behind but we don't have to talk about that i came back here now at the end of the day like it's right before bed and this freaking bot is still here who knows how many scepters it's gotten that i wasn't there to witness yes yes there it is a scepter nice number two so that's that's so good all right <laughs> let's go back and then keep going Oh, actually, uh, we could charge this up. Um, oh, they changed the menu options. It used to just be like the teleports here. Now it's like teleport, last teleport. What was the last teleport I used? Right here. They also upped the amount of charges the scepter can hold. Previously, it was like three to eight charges, depending on what tier of the desert diary you had done. But now it's way higher. If you have the elite diary done, it's 100. Or if you're like me and you have the hard diary done, it can hold up to 50 charges. With the scepter equipped and menu entry swap run, I'm gonna make the shift click to be Gel Sabra, which is this place right here. So I'll be able to shift left click to teleport me here with it equipped. And based on my XP per hour, I've been here for like a bit over six and a half hours today, which is pretty lucky. I think it'd be like, 
1.5 to 2 mil XP to meet the drop rate for Receptor with the gold chests I've been searching at least. Oh wow, so I thought when I turned in the six artifacts that he would just give me six charges, but no, it fully charges it up apparently. Uh, to whatever your maximum is if you turn in the six gold artifacts so <laughs> i get 50 charges that's that's a really really nice update but yeah after a day of doing thieving you can see the xp rate up here about 180k thieving xp per hour wait a minute i was about to run back to sophonum to get the pyramid plunder after my birdhouse run but then i remembered i have the the scepter now so i can just teleport right there i don't have to like do this anymore where i teleport to the poh portal i can actually do like consistent birdhouse runs now it is two days later and this same bot is still here at it. I know it's about like the movements are just so weird and stuff like everything it, it's definitely a bot hey, at least the bot got 91 thieving though congrats on uh being able to loot the last room good luck with your 99 grind bud <laughs> dude's gotten more scepters in two days than probably most runescape players will ever get in their whole career playing runescape okay okay i'm done talking about the bot i'm gonna i'm gonna stop talking about it. now that i have the pharaoh scepter uh, well previously i was banking at the bank over here i'd like run there and run back now i just teleport to the sears village bank i could bank here and teleport straight back and it's a little bit faster this way wait a sec do i even have to leave the room now or can i just use this thing to teleport straight back to the start oh that's really nice what's that thing why is it still okay well anyways <laughs> there's 98 thieving the hardest level is out of the way onto the final stretch it looks like my xp per hour has increased since i got the scepter it was like 180k xp per hour before and now it's over 190k xp per hour i've mentioned many times to not forget your birdhouse runs but i don't think i've mentioned to not forget your compost runs let's do this and then did i do it right are we still harvesting? Crap, wait, hold on. I gotta do it on the same tick though, so... We should be harvesting and putting them in the bin at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I think this works... Oh. I think this works for um, like almost any compost bin in the game because I think most of them should have a, an allotment patch like right next to them like that. I've barely been online the last few days because we've just been out and about. We went to the strip and then we did a bunch of stuff for 4th of July, which I, I make IRL videos. If you didn't know, it's linked in every video description and I did make an IRL video for 4th of July. The most embarrassing thing happened though, I was in an Uber to meet up with everyone and there was this girl sitting next to me because it was like the rideshare thing and she looked just like Kara or Spook Dog. So I wanted to take a picture sure to show car later and I was pretending like I was taking a selfie but I was actually taking a picture of her and it turns out my flash was on and it was so embarrassing I, I have the picture if you want to see uh, what it looks like but there's <laughs> no I'm just kidding I made that whole story up. that is car her hair is like dark brown slash black now she got dyed for the first time ever so I just just want to show her because she's so pretty. Anyways, I'm going to start off today by doing, well, I guess I started off today by doing like two hours of fishing, but I'm going to do my bird run, farm runs, and today we will be getting 99 thieving in like six, seven more hours of Pyramid Plunder. I kind of just remembered about the hit points cape and the regen brace for the extra hit points restore, um, but I don't know, I'm still kind of lazy to grab the hit points cape out the POH. Plus, I like having the graceful cape for the extra run too, but... I mean, either way, it really doesn't make much of a difference. Yes, another Pharaoh Scepter. That's beautiful. 716k XP before 99. I'm kind of curious, do these share charges between them? If I check that. That has three and the one I have equipped. Has... Oh, okay, now they're different. There's a glitch here. When the timer's running out, it's supposed to just kick you out of the pyramid. But if you teleport to the main room, like the lobby area, before the timer runs out, the timer for some reason is still going, and when the timer reaches zero, you still get kicked out. Wasting my teleport charges, SMH. Oh my gosh, another freaking scepter, dude. This is it. Let's open the grand gold chest, and there's level 99 thieving. Okay, let's go get the cape. Oh yeah, 2100 total level as well, so clean. So I've gained about 3.5 million thieving XP, which took probably almost 20 hours. And then in this time, I got three scepters, which puts me at four scepters in total. And then we can buy the thieving cape from the shop interface here. And the perk of the thieving skill cape is that when you have it equipped, it gives you a 10% increased chance of successfully pickpocketing, which is really important for uh, like certain monsters or things that you never fail. 
uh, like elves or the czar monsters or vires because even with the thieving cape and the arty diary and all that you still fail so you want that chance to be as low as possible for when you go for like blood shards or the uh, enhanced crystal teleport things or whatever i want to build the stash unit so we can store one of these scepters but the other items that we need is the menophyte outfit which we can buy from ali morrison but as you can see there's no clothing buy option here so we're gonna have to go do the rogues trader minigame hello ali i am back Let's trade, give me that clothing option. Yeah, go with the purple one. Every time you get this master clue step, you have to go through pyramid plunder all the way up to floor seven, because that's where the stash unit is, but there we go. Oh, I guess I didn't need that piece. You got stashed away for whenever you get the step in the future. Oh, I see, I, I bought the kilt and the robe. They're both like the bottom piece. And so ends a saga of thieving. And as you know, I've had a lot of time to think about what I want to do next. And I decided that in this video, I also want to go for the Mauritania Elite Diary. The only two requirements that we're missing are 84 crafting and 96 fishing. But for fishing, I can boost plus five with an Admiral Pie, the guaranteed boost. So I only have to get one more fishing level. And then for crafting, I could boost with the Mushroom Pie, but we also do want a max and it wouldn't take that long to get 84 crafting. So I'll probably just go for 84 crafting because I like doing charter ships. I have actually already done a decent amount of fishing in this video in my AFK time. I've gotten almost 400k XP already. We'll start with the charter ships first and get crafting up and maybe later on in the account if I get a dragon pickaxe, then maybe I'll do the whole mining sand thing and stuff. But I've always just preferred charter ships. So we'll do this for now. Oh, <laughs> I got the wrong kind of staff I meant to bring the smoke staff. Oops. For any Ironmen out there who have never seen this crafting method, I'll just show you real quick. So we're making molten glass. We can sell these lantern lenses back to the shop. We buy buckets of sand, buy the seaweed, hop worlds. I noticed it's kind of taking a while to hop worlds, so there might be some like server issues going on, which could be a little bit annoying. Oh, it wasn't too bad, actually. We uh, make this into the glass, use the glass blowing pipe, and then make the highest thing that you can. Although if you make the light orbs, if you're like 87 or higher crafting, you can't sell those back to the shop because they're untradeable. So you'd have to drop them. So maybe if you're 87 plus crafting, it might be more worth it than to mine your own sand to save yourself the clicks at charter ships of all that constant dropping. Level 79 crafting, 80 crafting. It has been a while since I've gone to Chaos LA and I kind of really want to get a deep pick and I've actually been kind of meaning to go to Chaos Alley for a while, but I just keep forgetting late at night or I just want to do Gauntlet or other stuff late at night. But tonight, no more excuses. We're going to go and try to get the deep pick. Also, the um, PvP Arena soft launch was today, so maybe some PKers will be doing that. Probably not, but... Anyways, I'm going to do some kills tonight. Got 85 KC to start with. And if you want to see my gear setup, you can pause and take a look here. Oh, one more thing before we go to the Wildy. I just noticed I hit a, a 10 mil XP milestone, 210 mil XP. All right, let's go. It's been just over an hour and here's a little check-in with the KC that is 100. I'm going to bed after this kill. Uh, that was about two and a half hours of chaos Ellie done tonight. And I only saw like one or two PKers maybe. Honestly, I saw more Iron Men slash bots that were running by that actually messed up the lure, which was pretty annoying. But unfortunately, no unique drops from Chaos LA. But uh, we'll try again some other night. Back at Charters, there's 81 crafting. I know I said earlier that we would go for 84 crafting this video, but I didn't do the math and I didn't realize exactly how long it would take. And I kind of want to get back to doing Gauntlet and stuff. Uh, probably in the next video. So we're just gonna call it here at 81 crafting and just uh, use the pie boost to get to 84 for the diary. Now we just have to finish off 91 fishing. Something I did unlocked five more group storage slots. Maybe it was uh, getting 99 thieving. The total crafting XP gained in this video though is a bit over 600K, which was about 10 hours of crafting. And I just remembered, because I was looking over uh, the clips at the start of the video, we got to go do the Varak Diary, so let's get that last task done for the hard. Okay, let's dig this up, and that is the last task for the Varak Hard Diary, so let's go claim the reward, and I will put all of it up on screen, as I usually do. And I'd say for this diary, there's really nothing notable that I want to specifically point out. Um, there's no particular reason why I wanted to get this diary done. I just want to get all the diaries done eventually. So there we go. And we got the XP lamp for herb lore, and that is 15k XP. 
Now, let's get that fishing level. There we go, 91 fishing. Let's go do that Mauritania Elite Diary. We'll cremate the shade remains. We got a key for the future. Hey, did you ever hear about the scarecrow who is outstanding in his field? Well, I heard he just got promoted. I. I think. I need to bare hand catch a shark, which as you can see, I made a few extra admiral pies because this could take a while. I got my preserve on and okay, well, there we go. I'm gonna use the bake pie spell because it is guaranteed to not burn any pie that you make. We'll eat the pie and then we are making the black dehyde body in the Canifus bank. And that is the last task for Mauritania Elite. Oh yes. All right, let's get it. Now this diary has a lot of really sweet rewards. Uh, the first one is we get 39 bucks of slime and bone meal every day, which I have been trying to do, not every day, but a lot of days just to get a bunch of Ecto tokens. The bone crusher will now give the full amount of XP instead of just half the XP from the hard diary. I now have the final herb patch unlocked, the one on Farmany Island, so I should probably build that teleport to my POH. And then 10% more Slayer XP when you do your Slayer tasks in the Slayer Tower. Still hoping for a bottomless bucket though, so I can like really start with the herb runs and for whenever I do go back to Slayer I did want to make sure I had like the full bone crusher perk um, before I go back which I probably won't be going back soon but for when I do in the future. The XP lamp which is going into herb lore for 50k XP which puts us at level 80. Sweet so that puts us at 2105 total. The diary list is looking pretty good. And I was looking at the duo group Iron Man high scores, and we are now ranked 15 overall for duo GIMs. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad to see that we're still hanging on to the front page. With that said though, make sure you check out my duo teammate Spook Dogs channel, which is linked below in every video description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time. By the way, my mom makes YouTube videos too, not OSRS, but uh, I recently featured in one of her cooking videos, so if you like my cooking, I can only imagine how much you're going to love her cooking, so I'll link that below in the description if anyone's interested. Also, by the way, she's looking for a job and is extremely talented at collections, especially commercial collections, so if any of you got job connections, hit us up. Obviously not sponsored, and I wasn't asked to say this, I just love my mom. It's August 24th, 2016. Nice! Yay! Alright, be careful. <laughs> okay, here I go. For, for real now. Like my shoes? Yeah. I'm getting a pedicure! Yay! That's my hair. It's good. Hey, look at me. I'm doing it on one floor. Go down those <laughs> stairs over there. Let's see a tray flip. Okay, here I go. Okay. Oh, look at you. Must be my blood. Yes, or something.